Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody wanted to know how to make a distress font. All I did was go to the internet and I typed in distress clip art. And it came with all these files and I just, this is a pretty big one, so I right click, copy image, go back to Corel, right click, paste it. And there we have our image. <clears throat> now it is, uh, you could actually already use it if you're going to print, but we're going to make a rectangle and just show you that it's uh, got a bunch of white background. And so like an engraver might have trouble using it. So we're going to get rid of that white by tracing it. I'm actually going to make it a little smaller to help Corel trace it better. Outline trace clip art. Your clip, your new trace one should always be on top. It's going to take just a few seconds. It's almost done and it's done. And then we can move this out of the way. And you can always tell, like this is an RGB. You know, this is a, a group of, a, it's got 835 little specks of font in there. Now we can do a lot with this. I should have left the yellow box up. And color that yellow. Go to object, order, back a page. And you can see now we got some gray spots in there, but we could we could click on this and turn everything black. So now everything, everything's black. Now we could ungroup this, group it. Uh, you could do a lot with this. You could give it more. You could give it less. You could uh, hit the plus key on your keyboard and and actually uh, mirror it. Now when you do that, you're getting a little bit of a like a mirror image. Ha <laughs> ha. But, uh, you know, if you mirror it the other way or do whatever you want to with it, I'm going to leave it like it was. And that, there's a good one. So then we need to group this together, control G before we use it, because we're going to use the impact tool. We're going to go and just make this font smaller to fit inside there. We could make the, the graphic a little bit bigger. And you could also... Uh, you know, squash it, you know, get your parts, more parts together. You know, you could do this and squash it down, you know, get your little bit more distress. But we need to grab the font, left click, left click, no fill, right click outline. This thing is only less than four inches, so we're going to make our nudge factor four. We're going to select everything. We're going to go right here to intersect. It's going to intersect it. And then we can nudge that intersection over. And then we can actually nudge that out of the way. And we still got our outline, so we can nudge this back. And if that's good enough, um, now one thing it did do when we did that, it uh, made uh, the spots, I shouldn't have nudged it that away. You could make the spots filled in with black. Let's nudge it back over now and see what it looks like. And, you know, like if that's too much, you still got it. Now, another thing you could do is do just the opposite. Now this thing is less than, we'll make the nudge factor one inch. And here's a little trick you can do. You can take the smart fill tool and we're gonna fill it in with yellow so it'll stand out. So I'm gonna go with RGB. A lot of times that happens, it brings up that. Um, but then we're going to go with yellow and you could fill this in with yellow and then move it out of the way and fill this in with yellow and move that out of the way, fill that in with yellow and it left part of the end. So we could go there because if some part got stopped, now if we look and we change this all to black, look at the difference. Now we could still give this an outline. Remember we nudge so we can nudge that outline. Whoop. Wow. You know, that is funny. It, it did the, uh, let's make a duplicate of that plus sign, move that down, move this back over. And I don't know if y'all caught that. Let's make a, let's make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. When I put these two together, it became a black font because we're using a hundred percent. Well, my, there's a, there's just a really light, um, distress now because we missed just a few 
you know, few areas with the smart fill tool. Now, in something like this, you'd probably want to take this and make your outline a little bigger. So you can double click on your pen tool, you know, make it a little thicker. Whoop, it actually bringing out the outline of the whole thing. So when you're doing that, you could take the outline alone, move it up, make the outline thicker than a hairline. Uh, just a little bit, let's make it a little bit more big and then move it back down. And now you got a totally different look. And that's a distress font. And I always, before I would print it, would take a yellow box trick, go to order, back a page, and you can see what your font looks like. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.